So um, what I'm going to do is, is uh, in, in order to sort of label what's going on, I'm going to actually um, put some of these commands in a in a plot in a sorry in a script. So let's let's um, create a new script file, okay? And I'm going to uh, so there's what there's my current one. I'm going to make a new script, okay? And we're going to call this uh, let's call this plotting um, plotting. Um, M. Okay, as a plotting practice file. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So if I look at my preamble, so it's a script to create some plots from chapter two notes. Okay, there we go. And uh, I'll put my name and uh, last update. Let's put that today. So again, 26 to 20. Okay. So then we um. So let's put some of the things in. So we're going to define um, x. This is going to be minus 5, point 1 to 5. Okay, and then we're going to say y equals um, was x squared minus 5. Okay, those are two things. Plot x, oops, x, y, and then we turn the grid on. Okay, so that, those are the commands that we had. And if I run this script, when I click run now, it'll ask me to save it. So I'll do that. Um, so there we go, plotting dot m. So I'll save it in the same place, okay? And it runs the script, creates a plot. Great. Now there's a few things we want to do. We want to actually label the x and y axes. That's always a good practice. And to do the x axis, so if we click on here, to label the x axis, we type x label, open brackets, okay? And we also put it inside quote marks. And so we're going to call this x. Okay, and then Y label, do the same thing. We're going to say Y equals X squared minus 5 as a command. Okay, and then we also want to title the uh, the, um, the graph, and we're going to call this a parabola. Okay, so now if we run the command again, okay, Okay, so now it's, it's uh, oops, let's go back to the uh, plot. There we go. So we've got our graph now with labels, a title, x is the is uh, obviously the x axis, and we've got y, which is the y axis, and we've actually got the y function defined here as a function of x um, in the in the in the uh, uh, in the picture. Now with um with a uh, with MATLAB, you can actually specify what your line looks like. Okay, there's a bunch of different ways you can do that um, in different colors and different uh, different line styles. Um, and so, for example, if we wanted to change the way the plot looks, we could actually um, put it in here. Um, so we've got plot YY, and then let's make it uh, red, and we're going to make it a dash line. So we put that in there. And if we run that now, you'll see that the um, that the um, the plot changes, okay, so it would be a, a red dash line. And we could obviously, you know, if we wanted to change it to a, I don't know, a black dotted line, we could do the uh, K colon, which gives us the dotted line, and we click run again. And then you can see that we've actually got a black dotted line. It's a bit faint in the in the, in the the picture here, but that's, that's what a black dotted line looks like, okay. Now the other the other thing that's useful is if you um if you want to um plot sort of data points you can do that um uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually redefine x to be um oops x equals uh, minus five to five I'm going to do it in integers okay and then if we rerun y and then we go um, plot x x y um, and they're going to actually give it some uh, data points. Uh, for example, let's go green day, um, green diamond data points with a dash dot line. Okay, for example, so if I run that command, we'll get a new plot. Okay, where you can see that we've got a dash dot line in green. Okay, with diamond data points where that where we've actually got data. Now, you notice that I I ran the command with um with only five. With, sorry, with data points at every integer. Clearly, if I was doing it in this in this script window, if you remember, we we defined um, minus five to five with a uh, with point one things. If I change the the things and it gets 
let's go for di uh, diamond data points okay with a with a dash dot line okay that's what we had before let's not worry about the green so if you run that command now okay and now look at the graph you can see that we've got data points at every single one and obviously the more finely meshed that is the more data points you've got so it's less less valuable in some ways but you can do it with a, a plus sign asterisk with a square or a diamond like I said or a dot um, and those are obviously the ways to, to plot those commands now there's many options that are available in terms of the, in terms of how you can change your graph to look um, for example we've got uh, um, let's let's run this command that's in the notes if we do plot okay so 0 to 10 is our x okay and then we've got uh, 0 10 um, dot squared okay um, and we're going to go for um, uh, magenta circles with a dash line okay and we're going to say marker size marker size is um, let's make that five and we'll make the line width um, let's make it quite fat with three okay so these are those are all the commands that can change the way a plot looks and if we um, oh wait let's, let's actually write it correctly marker size okay and run the command and now if we look, look at the plot you can see we've got this line from 0 to 10 there's our x our y is 0 to 10 squared so 0 to 100 we've got a fat line now with markers being circles the line is magenta and uh, and uh, we've got a dashed line and that's what those commands can do so as you as you up sort of you know um, to change the way the plot looks you can enter a bunch of different ways for this uh, for this graph to look um, and if you type doc line spec doc line spec you can actually look at some of the details of how to uh, uh, um, uh, modify the way that you can plot stuff so here's the information so there's the different types of plots um, different types of line styles different types of markers some of the colors and then these are the various other things that we can change line width is the one we changed and marker size but you could change the edge color the points color and so on and so forth so it gives you some examples of how you can do that okay the other way to customize a graph is to actually change some of the axes okay um so set the scale of the graph okay so um matlab normally scales the axis sort of automatically so that we've got sort of nice limits but you can actually um, specify something that you want to be uh, in a specific way so let's go back to this um this this uh, script file okay I'll change this back to just a normal line okay um, if we run that just to set the baseline in a sense so we've run that okay so that's our graph okay but we're going to do a few things now we're going to change the axes in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over if I can uh, uh, reduce the size of this window so uh, do that. Oops, there we are. I'm going to put the graph here so we can see what's going on. There we are. There we are. Okay. And um, and you can see that. So there's our graph. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of these axis commands in here. Okay. So one of the, one option is if you go axis axis tight. Okay. That's one command which sets the limits axis limits to the range of data and in fact I suspect what's not, what, uh, what's going to happen here is that it's not going to change the graph an awful lot because we're already at the limits of data indeed it didn't change it okay axis equal actually sets the axes in the x and the y direction to be equal um, uh, in sort of size so if we click on axis equal you can see that what happens is um, the now the x sorry the x-axis here shows um, uh, a range of uh, minus 15 to plus 15 okay and the and the y-axis is 20 to minus 5 but if you look at the the grid line the squares you can see that they they are indeed all squares what I need to do to actually get um, a square set of the axes is actually type axis square if I press go we actually make a square graph okay um, where we've got the range of data now um, and uh, and uh, um, you can see that the length here and the length here, the x and the y, is going to give you a, a square and a graph, so a rectangle.
Okay, and again, if you wanted to do see some more details, you could type doc access, okay, and it will give you some uh, information about the access in terms of how you can set these things up to be. The other thing you can do is to set your own axes, okay, so that's that's um let's do that, okay, and the way to do that is instead of actually giving it just a type square or or equal, you actually set um some add some arguments to this, okay. And so what you do is you set your um, x axis limits along the along the uh, in the first thing. So I'm going to go from say, let's say I want to focus in on a certain section from zero to two, okay, and I want to go from say minus one to I don't know five for the y axis. Okay, so x min, x max, y min, y max. And we run the command. And you can see that what we've done now is we've uh, specified um that we've gone in for this graph. Now why is that? Oh, that's, that's, I'll tell you why there's no data. Is that the data's outside that view. So that's uh, actually go to minus six and uh, yeah, well, let's, well, let's go for five. Okay, if I run that, come on again, we should see a bit of the line. There we go, there's a bit of the line um, of our parabola. And if you wanted to change just the y-axis here, so that's in fact, let's just do that. Okay, let's go um, Let's uh, actually change it. We'll just change it live for this one. We can actually write y lim. I mean, then we just enter the commands uh, that we want. So let's uh, we've got a bit too much y here. So let's go from minus six to zero. Um, and then if you do that, that will just change the y limit to change it um, what we want that to be. So it's worth noting at this point that there are many other types of plots available. Okay, depending on the plot type, the data you may need to be two, three, or even higher dimensions. Okay. I mentioned 3D graphs, and I'll show you some examples of them later on. Um, to see what plot, type, what plot types are available um, for a particular variable, um, then you can click on the Plots tab at the top of the main MATLAB window. Okay, so if we uh, uh, maximise this again, so let's, uh, let's go for full screen. Um, where's the Plots tab then? No, the plots, there we go. So there's lots of different plots. You can see we've got plot. Um, we've got area, bar graph, scatter plots, um, uh, pie graphs, histograms, and depending on the on the variable type, um, you can see that there's different. Uh, um, there'll be different um, things selected. So if I click on Y over in this workspace, you can see these are the various different graphs that you can choose to plot as. And these, and like I said, this is a window. This is oh, sorry, this is a wizard, where if you just click on the graph, it'll actually run the plot. So there's your Y graph. There's your thing. Let's we could plot it as an area. There we are. There's our area graph. Okay. Um, we could plot it as a stem graph. Okay. There's a stem. So you can see you can do it in all sorts of different ways: bar graph, and so on and so forth.